Should we automate away all the jobs? Every technological revolution leads to job change, and this will be no exception. Concerns over the rapidly expanding use of artificial intelligence. The danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear weapons by a lot. The machines taking over is a threat for everyone. It's a threat for the Chinese and for the Americans and for the Europeans. Just like a global nuclear war was. When Elon Musk declared in 2014 that AI could be more destructive than nuclear weapons, people thought his opinions were controversial. But in less than a decade, this terrifying prediction has been reinforced by visionaries like Stephen Hawking and Bill Gates. Now, just when we thought the iTutor Group $365,000 lawsuit and the millions of dollars lost to AI glitches and algorithmic bias would be our worst nightmare, Michio Kaku has warned that an even more unsettling technology is emerging, quantum computers. With these machines soon to be widely available, we're left wondering, what will happen when AI and quantum computing join forces? With AI now capable of extracting information directly from the human brain, are we prepared for when it's amplified by quantum computing? Join us as we unravel Michio Kaku's terrifying warning that has shocked scientists. I'm Dr. Michio Kaku, professor of theoretical physics at the City University of New York and author of Quantum Supremacy, about the rise of quantum computers. We all know that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. Well, the arrival of quantum computers could be even more historic than that. We're now in the initial stages of the next revolution. We're talking about a new generation of computers, the ultimate computer, a computer that computes on atoms, the ultimate constituents of matter itself. The question is, who's involved in this race to perfect quantum computers? And the answer is, everyone. All the big players are part of this race because if they're not, Silicon Valley could become the next Rust Belt. Also, anyone who's interested in security is interested in quantum computers. They can crack almost any code that is based on digital technology. That's why the FBI, the CIA, and all national governments are following this very closely. Quantum computers will change everything. The economy, how we solve problems, the way we interact with the universe, you name it, quantum computers will be there. A high-stakes race is ongoing among top tech companies to bring the first functional quantum computer to market. This competition is fueled by the potential to create a device that far outperforms traditional computing systems. The thrill and nuances of this achievement are very similar to the early days of aviation. When the Wright brothers first came up with the idea of building a machine that could traverse the skies, their early planes weren't faster than horses. In fact, a horse could easily outrun their first few flights. However, the significance of airplanes lay not in speed, but in the introduction of an entirely new mode of travel. Airplanes represent more than just faster transportation. They're fundamentally different machines that utilize the higher dimension of the sky, an untapped resource. Similarly, the development of quantum computing represents a leap comparable to the transition from horse-drawn carriages to airplanes. A quantum computer isn't merely a faster version of a classical computer. It's a different type of machine that leverages the unique, counterintuitive phenomena of quantum mechanics, its higher dimension. Consider the potential of a computer so powerful it could simulate new materials to sequester carbon from the atmosphere, develop affordable fertilizers that save energy, and conserve fossil fuels, or solve problems so complex that traditional supercomputers falter. This might sound like science fiction, but IBM has brought this vision to life with its quantum-centric supercomputer. This groundbreaking machine is a testament to human ingenuity and is poised to revolutionize our understanding of computing power. The IBM quantum-centric supercomputer, boasting 100,000 qubits, doesn't just signify a paradigm shift. It represents a monumental leap, a quantum jolt shaking the entire industry. This is why tens of thousands of the brightest minds are dedicated to building and understanding these machines. Within the scientific community, there is a passionate divide regarding quantum computing. One faction is captivated by the underlying physics. 
David Deutsch, a prominent figure in the field, remarked, Quantum computation will be the first technology that allows useful tasks to be performed in collaboration between parallel universes. This perspective invites us to imagine a world governed by the same physical laws, but where different choices are made. These choices could range from the movements of microscopic particles to everyday decisions, such as what you had for lunch or whether you decided to watch this video or not. It gets more fascinating, but let's make a few things clear before we continue. Quantum mechanics is the field that describes the simplest things around us, individual electrons or atoms, or particles of light like photons. The captivating thing is, when you look at these very simple systems, they don't really obey the same rules that the world around us does. Quantum mechanics makes an amazing prediction. There are multiple realities, all as real as the one we live in. Although we can't see these other realities, scientists have developed machines that can use these parallel worlds. This brings us to quantum computing, a fascinating field at the intersection of physics and computer science. Experts say that quantum computers can solve problems that even the most advanced regular computers can't handle. Traditional computers, no matter how advanced, have limits. Quantum computers don't have these same limits. You might wonder if this is just a theory, like other futuristic ideas we've heard about but haven't seen yet. Surprisingly, many quantum computers are already in use. They're located in research centers that the public can visit, just like the first supercomputers. For example, Google's Sycamore processor is a big step forward in quantum computing. It's achieved what scientists call quantum supremacy, meaning it can do certain calculations much faster than the best classical supercomputers. A team at Caltech even used this processor for a wormhole teleportation experiment. After Google's announcement about Sycamore, scientists in China made another breakthrough with the Zhuzhang computer. Claimed to be the most powerful quantum computer in the world, Zhuzhang works 100 trillion times faster than the fastest classical supercomputers. It can complete tasks in less than a second that would take the best regular supercomputers nearly five years to finish. This incredible speed could be used in data mining, network analysis, and chemical research. Chinese President Xi Jinping has highlighted the importance of quantum science, and the country has invested billions of dollars in this technology. From the outside, quantum computers look like large black boxes, about 10 feet wide and 12 feet tall. They work thanks to internal refrigeration systems that cool the chips to near absolute zero, which is hundreds of times colder than outer space. This extreme cold is one of the coldest conditions humans have ever created. Inside these fridges, there's a part called a pulse tube that makes a sound about once per second, similar to a heartbeat. The advancements in quantum computing are not just theoretical ideas, but real technologies that are changing the limits of what we can do with computers. The allure of quantum computing lies in its ability to harness the strange properties of the quantum realm. At the heart of these revolutionary machines are tiny chips, often no larger than a thumbnail, that contain the building blocks of this quantum magic. Imagine a thought experiment where two identical universes exist, differing only in the value of a fundamental unit called a qubit. In classical computers, the bits that store information can exist in a simple zero or one state. But qubits operate by different rules. They can exist in a superposition of both zero and one simultaneously. As more qubits are added to a quantum computer, the number of accessible parallel universes grows exponentially. A chip with just 500 qubits has access to a staggering 2 to the power of 500 possible states, the shadows of these parallel worlds overlapping with our own. This ability to encode information in the quantum state of these qubits is what gives quantum computers their immense power. By tapping into the quantum realm, they can perform certain calculations exponentially faster than classical computers. Tasks like breaking encryption, simulating chemical reactions, and optimizing complex systems become trivial for a sufficiently large quantum machine. Of course, the technical details of how quantum computers operate are complex, involving esoteric concepts from quantum mechanics. But the basic idea is that these machines can leverage the weird behavior of the microscopic world to achieve computational feats that are simply impossible for classical computers. Standing before one of these giant quantum machines, 
It's easy to be awestruck by the sheer potential held within a chip the size of a thumbnail. This is the future of computing, a realm where the impossible becomes possible, and the boundaries between parallel universes blur. Now, let's take a quick look at the history of quantum algorithms. Quantum algorithms harness the extraordinary potential of qubits entanglement and parallelism, propelling them far beyond the capabilities of traditional algorithms for certain problem domains. These quantum marvels derive their power from the intricate dance of qubits. But therein lies a unique challenge. Measuring qubits collapses their superposition and entanglement into a single state. To navigate this, quantum algorithms employ advanced techniques to extract valuable information before this collapse, maximizing the computational benefits. A fascinating parallel to Moore's law has emerged in quantum computing. The number of qubits on a chip has doubled annually over the past nine years, heralding unprecedented advancements, not only in processing speed, but also in the exploration of fundamental quantum phenomena. Among these phenomena is a remarkable concept of quantum teleportation. In 1999, Isaac Chung and his team at IBM successfully implemented this protocol, a process that transfers quantum information across distances using entanglement. While it may not enable the teleportation of people like in Star Trek, it does mean that the state of one particle can be instantly transferred to another, no matter the distance, thanks to quantum entanglement. This theoretical idea, first proposed in 1993 by Charles Bennett and five other scientists, was realized in practice by Chung six years later. But why is this process necessary? And why can't we simply copy quantum information like we do with classical data? Imagine teleporting a baseball from California to New York. First, you entangle two baseball particles in California, enabling them to share information without actual teleportation. Next, measuring one particle generates two bits of data, causing the baseball to vanish from California. These bits are then sent to New York at light speed, where they recreate the baseball. This process transfers the baseball's information without duplication. However, significant challenges remain, such as preserving quantum information during entanglement and transferring qubits over long distances without data loss. With quantum entanglement, messages are linked in such that any interception disrupts the quantum state, allowing instant detection of tampering, a significant leap forward in information security within quantum computing. Before diving into the synergistic potential of artificial intelligence and quantum computing, let's trace the rich history of quantum physics. Quantum computing's roots extend back to the early 20th century, beginning with Max Planck's groundbreaking work in quantum theory. Planck introduced the concept of quantized energy, which laid the foundation for quantum theory by explaining blackbody radiation in a way no other theory could. Albert Einstein built on this in 1905 with a photoelectric effect, proposing that light behaves as both particles and waves and that its energy is quantized into photons. Niels Bohr advanced quantum theory in 1913 with his model of the hydrogen atom, theorizing that electrons occupy specific energy levels around a nucleus and shift between these levels by absorbing or emitting energy. In 1925, Wolfgang Pauli introduced quantum superposition, proposing that particles could exist in multiple states simultaneously, with their properties only defined upon observation. Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle in 1927 expanded on this, stating that certain pairs of properties, like position and momentum, cannot be simultaneously known. A pivotal moment came in 1935 with the EPR paper by Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen, introducing entanglement, a fundamental yet bizarre aspect of quantum mechanics where particles remain interconnected regardless of distance. The concept of quantum computing emerged in 1951, proposed by Alan Turing, who envisioned a machine operating on quantum principles that could surpass classical computers. While this idea remained largely theoretical for decades, significant progress was made in the 1970s by Richard Feynman, who proposed a universal quantum simulator to replicate physical systems. In 1982, Paul Benioff introduced the concept of a quantum Turing machine, followed by David Deutsch's proposal of quantum algorithms in the 1980s. Deutsch suggested that quantum computers could solve certain problems more efficiently than classical ones, introducing the Deutsch algorithm. In 1994, Peter Shor made a monumental breakthrough with Shor's algorithm, 
demonstrating how quantum computers could efficiently solve integer factorization problems, a potential threat to classical encryption systems. Experimental progress accelerated with collaborations like that between Google, NASA, and D-Wave Systems, which launched the D-Wave 2 quantum computer in 2013. This machine, using adiabatic quantum computing and superconducting qubits, was designed to solve optimization problems. IBM's introduction of the IBM Quantum Experience in 2016 marked yet another milestone. This cloud-based platform allowed users worldwide to experiment with a small quantum computer, fostering collaboration within the quantum community. In 2017, physicists at Yale University demonstrated qubits capable of error correction with the surface code, a crucial step towards fault-tolerant computing. Companies like Google are vigorously working to develop practical, market-ready quantum computers, not merely to boost computational speed, but to redefine the very boundaries of technology. The integration of artificial intelligence into our rapidly advancing quantum-powered future is a topic of great interest and concern. A recent development has sparked a debate. AI can now enhance images without even seeing the original picture, using only brain scan results from MRIs. This groundbreaking achievement was highlighted by Tristan Harris and Oza Raskin in their video, The AI Dilemma, following their thought-provoking Netflix documentary, The Social Dilemma. The researchers challenged AI by feeding it a prompt, asking it to translate fMRI readings into an image. The AI, without accessing the original image, successfully reconstructed what it saw. This research has raised some alarming concerns, with half of AI researchers believing that there's at least a 10% chance that humans could become extinct due to our inability to control AI. One of the primary causes for concern is a rapid advancement of AI capabilities, which are doubling every few months. The prediction that AI could reach the point of singularity by 2045, matching the combined capabilities of all human brains, is particularly unsettling. This raises the question of whether our rapid progress in quantum computing is contributing to this exponential growth. The possibility of AI eventually developing human-like consciousness, and, as depicted in the movie Ex Machina, turning against us, is a worrying prospect. Even Elon Musk has expressed concerns similar to those depicted in the movie, where a beautiful AI-powered robot ultimately kills its creator. The concept of AI consciousness brings to us the Turing test, also known as the imitation game. This simple yet thought-provoking game involves three participants, A, B, and C. The aim is to determine if a machine can convincingly mimic a human. The game stems from Alan Turing's paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, which laid the groundwork for artificial intelligence. Turing's fundamental question was, can machines think? Not just calculate or execute tasks, but genuinely think as humans do. This question is inherently philosophical, as it revolves around the concept of consciousness. Consciousness has sparked endless debates among scientists and philosophers, with two primary viewpoints, dualism and materialism. Dualism posits that consciousness is separate from our physical selves, often referred to as a soul or spirit, while materialism refutes the existence of a soul or spirit, believing consciousness to be purely a mechanism of the brain. The challenging part is determining if a machine possesses consciousness, and therefore can actually think. This is where Turing proposed a test. The game involves A, a man, B, a woman, and C, who can be either a man or a woman. C must figure out which of A and B is the man and which is the woman, without seeing them, by asking questions and receiving written responses. The man, A, must pretend to be a woman to try to fool C, while B must tell the truth. If C is tricked and cannot correctly identify the man and woman, the test is deemed a success. Turing imagined a scenario where a computer took the place of A, and if it could convincingly act like a woman, then it would be considered a thinking machine. This is the basis of the original Turing test. Since Turing's proposition, programmers worldwide have been racing to create AI, often using the Turing test as a benchmark to gauge their intelligence level. However, the question remains, can this test also detect the consciousness that a machine might possess? This question becomes especially intriguing when considering machines powered by quantum computers. Physicist Michio Kaku has recently shared his perspective on the intersection of quantum computing and AI, 
particularly large language models like GPT-4 and Google Bard. These AIs are software programs that pull data from all corners of the Internet to generate outputs. They've become remarkably good at providing accurate answers to a variety of questions, from diagnosing diseases based on symptoms to passing legal bar exams. However, Professor Kaku points out a limitation. These programs struggle to discern what is true or accurate. He notes that there's no fact checker for chatbots, which makes them dangerous, as they do not know what is correct or incorrect. The risk of AI tools adopting false or inaccurate data into their responses is a significant concern. Since these programs pull information from various sources, they might accidentally include nonsensical content. And because they cannot distinguish accurate information from incorrect, they might unintentionally spread falsehoods. This leaves us with a challenge. How can we trust the reliability of the information presented by AI? This is where quantum computers could be a game changer. These devices have the capacity to function as fact checkers, filtering through enormous volumes of data and weeding out inaccurate content. By employing quantum computing, we could verify the accuracy of statements and distinguish between partially true, partially false, and perhaps misleading information. This could lead to a more nuanced grasp of the content churned out by large language models. As Professor Kaku suggested, quantum computers could make AI more reliable. The potential to transform various industries and applications is vast, thanks to its ability to perform certain calculations at an exponential speed compared to classical computers. As we look to the future, several compelling predictions have emerged, showcasing the transformative power of quantum computing. While these predictions may seem ambitious, they represent the collective aspirations of innovators and researchers working towards a revolutionary future. Today, we'll explore three of these potential predictions. First, we'll delve into the realm of outer space exploration with NASA. Forecasters predict that the combined power of quantum computing and artificial intelligence will enable NASA to discover Earth-like planets with comparable atmospheres and water presence. This breakthrough could spark crucial discussions about how to reach such a planet. Machines like the D-Wave quantum system, with its impressive 7,000 qubits and 20-weight connectivity, will play a pivotal role in these efforts. In fact, Dr. Rupak Biswas and his team at NASA are already utilizing this technology. This year, NASA announced the discovery of TOI-700E, a planet nearly identical in size to Earth, orbiting within its star's habitable zone. As quantum computing advances, the possibility of NASA finding a way to reach this planet or discovering even more Earth-like planets closer to us becomes increasingly plausible. Next, scientists predict that the business of quantum computing will become increasingly important. Due to the complexity of handling quantum computers, many companies are turning to cloud-based quantum computing for specialized tasks, opening up new business opportunities. IBM, for instance, offers Qiskit Runtime, a service that allows users to build and run powerful algorithms quickly. Finally, and most significantly, we stand on the cusp of a technological and societal revolution. We're rapidly approaching the day when the machines we create will outperform us in every aspect of intelligence, not just calculations or searches, but in all other areas. Projections suggest that within 15 years, these machines will surpass human capabilities, marking a significant turning point in human history. What do you think will be the most innovative use of quantum computers in collaboration with AI? And do you fear that these technologies will take our place? Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.